Well, let's go back to the weather, Pat. Uh, millions of people across the country wanting a better forecast, especially here in Texas. No pressure. What's it looking like? Yeah, so what you saw there with David talking about, you know, the cloud and shower chances, he was talking yesterday using some of those global longer range, low resolution models. We have a brand new forecast for you. We, pre we uh, previewed it at the top of the show. If you missed it, we'll have it coming up here in just a second because it does look promising for some spots in Texas. Live look right now from the top of our very own studios here in the Galleria. We're looking to the east. A lot of clouds out there right now. We fell just shy of 80 degrees today, but pretty much a day very close to where we should be for this time of year. Numbers right now, mid 70s across the board. We're not going to drop too much of the cloud cover for tonight, so most of us stay in the upper 60s through the overnight. And then maybe a shower or storm chance for tomorrow, but it's not a totally overcast day. Tomorrow's forecast actually looks decent. It's early week, though, then where things start to go downhill, where we have the potential for downpours, thunderstorms, and maybe even some severe weather. The good news, like this past week, the end of the upcoming week looks like a real payoff here with tons of sunshine for Thursday and Friday. But boy, we wish we could get that for the eclipse on Monday. A lot of clouds out there right now, but we are dry. Notice a tail of stronger storms there from Oklahoma into Texas. This is on the southern end of some severe weather happening up through the uh, Great Plains here from Kansas up through Nebraska. Our storm system for tomorrow is still out towards the west coast, and that's going to make its way in our direction here as we go through the next few days. But again, a lot of clouds on the way as we go through the overnight. All right, let's talk about the severe potential. Again, it's three days of the potential to see some strong to severe storms here in southeast Texas for the upcoming week. Very unusual that we have three days in a row with severe weather potential. The first uh, chance comes in on Monday. After that, I think Tuesday is going to be our biggest threat here in southeast Texas. That's the main day that I'm most concerned about. And then by Wednesday, notice how it starts to move off towards the east. It's really just an early morning chance as that front goes through, but I really don't think it's going to be a huge threat for us. The bigger potential will be out towards Louisiana on Wednesday. So let's focus on Monday's potential. It's mainly for I-35 and the hill country getting back out towards West Texas where you see these black lines here. That indicates where we could see some very large hail, but this does include the Houston area. So from I-10 and points north, it's a level two out of five, five being the worst for the potential to see large hail and some wind damage. Here's future track for tomorrow afternoon. Again, breaks of sunshine that'll pop temperatures into the mid eighties, but we could get a few downpours and thunderstorms developing here along uh, the East Tex freeway down the Southwest freeway across Houston here towards the afternoon. Then we turn dry into Monday morning, but the clouds are in place here from the morning through eclipse time, 1.30 in the afternoon. I don't think we see much of anything here, unfortunately, in the city. But notice it's mainly dry. I think that severe weather outlook is for the overnight hours into very early Tuesday morning. A couple bigger storms could move through the area. So let's talk about the eclipse again. Global models painting, not a great picture, but those high resolution models give us hope for I-35 going from Austin up towards Dallas. Doesn't look great, but again, it's a better picture than we were painting for you earlier in the week as the eclipse moves across the state. Again, wake up to Dallas and the Hill Country. I think those are the best bets for us. It's just cloudy skies. Your seven day forecast showing again, stormy conditions here for Monday, Tuesday especially, and Wednesday it's an early chance with clearing for the afternoon. Gorgeous weather for Thursday and Friday, but man, a lot of stuff going on this week, Marcelino, weather-wise, with that eclipse on Monday and the severe weather potentials Monday night into Tuesday and Wednesday morning. It's just looking a little better than it did last week. Just little a little better. Bit. If you have plans for the Hill Country, Waco, or Dallas, You're in good you could be okay. Could right. be okay. Thanks, Pat.